Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this chapter, we're going to talk about exponential smoothing, which is some of the most successful forecasting uh, way to generate reliable forecast for a wide range of uh, time series uh, data. And uh, in this chapter, we'll look at um, various methods depending on our time series. If our time series uh, show trend, we'll use a different method, and if it doesn't show any trend will use a different method similarly if our time series shows uh, seasonality will use uh, different types of uh, methods the intuition behind using exponential smoothing is that uh, when we were using average method we say that uh, the forecast for the future it is the average of uh, all the values in the time series that is we said that uh, our time series values from uh, 1 to D contain equal weights. That is, we do not distinguish between uh, the previous observation, the observation before that, or the last observation. We give them equal weights. Similarly, we said that uh, in the naive method, our forecast uh, for the future is uh, whatever observation we observed in the previous period. That is, whatever we observed the last time. And any information contained in the observation before that observation is uh, zero. That is, we say that only the last observation contains uh, all the information and uh, we can use that information to forecast. In the average method, we say that all the observations in the data contain equal information about uh, our variable of interest and we give equal weights to all the observations to forecast our variable of interest. Now these are two extremes. On the one side we give all the way to the last observation. On the other side we give equal weights to all the observations in the data set. Now sometimes past observations may also contain some information but not as much as uh, the information in the previous period. That is the most recent observations may contain more information as compared with some of uh, the older observations. So we have to account for this. And this intuition motivates our exponential smoothing uh, methods. So we'll talk about three types of uh, forecasting models based on whether a series uh, shows uh, no trend or seasonality. That will be our first model. And then we'll talk about a series which shows uh, only trend but no seasonality. And our third method will be based on a series which shows both trend and uh, seasonality. So we'll build on uh, exponential smoothing that is, will give weights to past observations based on uh, when the observation is uh, occurring. We may give more weight to the most recent observations and then the weights will be decaying exponentially as we go in the past. That is, the most recent observations will contain more information. An example would be stock price yesterday contains more information that we can use to forecast uh, next is the stock price as compared to the stock price two days ago and similarly last week's stock price may contain some information but not as much as uh, the stock price yesterday similarly stock price one year ago may contain some information but not as much as uh, the information last week and not as much as uh, information contained in the stock price yesterday so based on uh, three types of uh, forecasting models we'll first explore time series which will not show any trend or seasonality and we'll use a simple exponential methods to forecast uh, this type of series and then we'll talk about uh, a series with trend but not seasonality and we'll talk about uh, Holt's linear trend uh, method and then we'll extend that method to include uh, a damped uh, trend in it. And finally we'll talk about our third types of uh, time series which will show both seasonality and trend and we'll talk about Holt uh, Winter's uh, methods and uh, we'll use additive model, multiple carry model and damped method uh, to forecast uh, this type of uh, series. And at the end of the chapter, I'll talk about innovation state space models, also called ETS uh, models. And these are very simple and easy to use uh, models to get uh, reliable and successful forecasts very quickly. So this is pretty much the agenda for this uh, chapter. We'll assign different weights to different observations. And then based on whether a series is showing us uh, seasonality and trend, we'll apply an appropriate model 
to generate uh, forecasts about uh, that series. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.